Hi folks, how you doing? I'm Captain Mark Aaron. I run the Incentive Charters out of Smithtown Bay, New York. Like many other captains and recreational boaters, battery failure is a huge concern of ours. Not only is it an inconvenience out on the water or even the dock, it could be a huge safety concern. So I teamed up with my friends from Gans Eco Energy and we have solved that problem forever. Come on, let me show you the 40 watt solar panel we installed on my Parker 2320. Okay, here is the 40 watt panel that I put on my boat. Again, four holes on each corner, through bolted, through the hard top, stainless steel gear. And if you see right here, Parker provides an elevated chase here. I just basically drilled the hole right here, put the half a clamshell on there, siliconed it, drilled it, beautiful. Okay, what you see here is the dual battery solar controller. It's the charge controller, basically. And it's the GCC D10A. And if you look at these two blinking lights here, that's the one battery and the two battery, the blinking light indicates that both batteries are basically topped off. Always a pleasure to see when you go on the boat uh, to start the day that you know you got fully charged batteries. It's a fairly easy system here. Here's battery one. This is gonna be battery number two, positive, negative, positive, negative here. And then in the middle here is your solar panel. That's what's coming in from the uh, 10 foot cable that GANS provides on each panel. Okay, right here is, it's, it's kind of an ethernet type cable and that goes to the digital meter that I'll show you next here. And the digital meter is really cool because it really simplifies what's coming in through the panel and how it's being distributed. Okay, this thing I think GANS designed this solely for myself because I don't know the difference between a watt, amp, and an ohm. But what this basically does is simplifies things and puts it uh, into a layman's perspective here. You basically have your number one battery and your number two battery. As you can see the LED bars on both batteries, they're both full. In the middle here is your solar panel. There's a next button I'm going to press here and it's going to basically, as you press, it's going to put an arrow to each function. For instance, there's a solar panel, it's almost 19 volts. Battery number, let me see, number one here, it's got 13 volts, almost 13 and a half volts. Battery number two now is showing it's got 13.6 volts. I do want to add, the digital meter is not a necessity in hooking up the solar panel system. The charge control is all you need and that puts a, it's a happy marriage, trust me. However, I love the digital meter for two reasons. One, it's very inexpensive and two, with the technology, the LED technology, it tells you exactly the state of charge of everything and the amount of voltage coming in. I love it. Okay, here are some mounting options. On the right, you'll see that I have the 40 watt panel. In the middle has the six watt panel. And on the left is that 30 watt panel. The 30, 40, and 55 watt panels are great for dual battery systems. And the six watts nice because you have a diode and you don't need a charge controller. Just hook that thing right up to your battery and you're in business. I pulled these photos off the net. It's pretty cool, it just goes to show you how uh, they flush mount these panels on top of sailboard hard tops and stuff like that, where there's a lot of foot traffic, and you're able to do that because of the hard plastic covering. You know, you can stand on top of these panels and run across the top of these uh, decks if you need to.
What I have here is the 30 watt panel from Gans. Again, big panel and is totally capable of doing a dual battery system like I have on my Parker. But uh, what I want to get into what makes Gans better than the average uh, solar panel is again, it's that semi flexible aluminum backing. In the marine application, that's key because not all hard tops and all surfaces are flat, like on my Parker, the uh, 40 watt panel, as you see, went on very easily. But I want to show you a 21 foot Steiger craft that's hard top is kind of bowed a little bit, and where the GANS is the perfect application, and any other solar panel will not do the job here. Okay, so now when you get to the top of the uh, 21 Steiger craft, you can see that the hard top is somewhat bowed. This is where GANS comes into play big time. Obviously, a flat solar panel. When it lays on top of the roof, you'll see that the right side of the panel is up. But when, again, we install it through the grommets on each corner, you'll see that when that's secured, the panel adheres to the contour of the hard top. You gotta, you gotta love that. Okay folks, this is how your packaging comes in the mail or if you get it at the store. On the back it's going to give you all the specifications for the panel, but I just want to stress one thing which is really important and it's a safety thing. When you are installing this panel, make sure that you uh, have the panel covered during the install. Again, if, if the sun can get to that panel, it's going to create solar energy. Solar energy converts into electricity and you do not want to get electrocuted when you're installing the product. Again, a very good product. Uh, I want to thank you for watching and uh, go out there and check out GANS. Go look at their website. Mm -hmm.